we all know how relevant uh, some uh, variable have been uh, uh, determinants uh, of what I call the social construction of reality in the past, uh, present, uh, and also will be certainly in the future. So, just uh, uh, to mention uh, a few, <laughs> certainly a determinant uh, very important is the development of language, and then uh, written language, and then uh, the printing press, and then uh, the telegraph, and then uh, nowadays uh, we live uh, in uh, the internet uh, age, uh, and uh, the fourth uh, industrial revolution uh, promised us uh, even uh, unfathom way to communicate. Uh, some were in the science fiction uh, movies uh, of the past, uh, and we superate that. But uh, I think uh, some uh, determinants have been, uh, in my opinion, uh, also even uh, more uh, uh, important, uh, like uh, commerce. Uh, globalization has been uh, from uh, ancient age uh, through commerce. Uh, so cultural exchange because uh, the driver was uh, to exchange goods. And then uh, the invention of money, and then the invention of banking. Somebody said the Florentine uh, were uh, <laughs> developing the He's from credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we have, uh, uh, you know, subprime uh, and subprime crisis uh, of recent past, uh, still looming, but also the creation of the World Bank. But uh, certainly determinants have been uh, empires, theocratic empires and kingdom, theological, political philosophy, Marxist-Leninism, a closed uh, theology, what national socialism, also called uh, fascism, and democracy. But uh, uh, what about the, the invention of the will? and the taming of the horses, uh, and developing a horse carriage. And nowadays, I go Florence, uh, Milan, uh, in two hours and 45 minutes. Uh, just uh, 30 years ago, it took uh, seven hours uh, by train. Uh, and flying, I was uh, with the uh, hater in Brazil. And now, here, <laughs> we were in Romania. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, how much uh, foot uh, printing, <laughs> but uh, how much uh, we can do in a month uh, all over the world. But I'm more interested, as uh, Gary said, on understanding the social construction of reality. So I have, uh, and I'll be finishing, uh, some question. I think uh, narrative are very powerful drivers uh, and determinants. Uh, so what are the drivers and catalysts of global governance? And what are the barriers to sustainable global voter, global governance? I think participation and empowerment, for example, potentially can be a very powerful driver for change in the future and for sharing wealth uh, and creating more prosperity and so avoiding also so much, uh, I would say rightly so, social conflict. Uh, why we should have a social peace uh, if I'm the slave uh, and you are the boss? Uh, uh, <coughs> so uh, human rights I think is a very important right and uh, developing people potentiality. Education uh, is a, a main one. So, uh, can uh, people-centered, uh, and uh, I don't mean just uh, my approach, uh, but uh, instead uh, top-down uh, deciding uh, where it's going to be uh, done uh, this factory, this uh, building of uh, a dam, can uh, we empower people to take responsibility on how resources are used, uh, shared, uh, and uh, use, uh, deciding which are the priority. And so, 
I end up, uh, uh, we all know how specialists have been important. Uh, also today they are important, uh, but sometimes uh, a good thing can become a problem. And to be super specialized uh, and uh, autistic, not seeing uh, the connection uh, with other signs uh, and ignoring basically that the map is not the territory. And so my specialization, uh, if it's not uh, a campaign married with a holistic, a systemic way of seeing, knowing, and acting actually can become an handicap, a boomerang effect, and we have so many of those. So, my question is, I don't have the answer, <laughs> my question is how we can facilitate this process?